Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. If you are new here, my name is Belle. And if you are not new, then welcome back to another video. Today we are, as you can tell by the title, getting into a bit more of a summer, really super lightweight makeup look. The sun is beaming nowadays, so we finally have some sunshine in the UK, which I'm super excited about. And obviously I've got the sun right in front of me beaming on my melanated skin. So we're gonna keep it fresh on the skin and super lightweight, but we also wanna keep that glow in check as well. If you aren't subscribed already, make sure you click that subscribe button down below. And of course, do give this video a thumbs up. Let's get right into it. It's raining, but I don't need an umbrella. Standing in your rain is where I'm gonna be. So my skincare is already pretty much done. I'm gonna first start off with a primer. The primer I'm gonna use is the NYX, oh, it's kind of rubbed off now, but it's I think it's the NYX Hydrating Primer. I will leave everything in the description bar down below. It's the Dupe to the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. So yeah, sorry, it has actually rubbed off. So I can't actually say exactly what it's called, but I will leave it in the description bar down below. So I'm just gonna prime my face with this and I've really been enjoying using this as a primer, not only because it is a dupe to the milk hydro grip, but because it is super hydrating on my skin. I know a lot of people like to go a little bit on the matte side, but I prefer to go on the luminous hydrating side. So that's why I'm using this primer today. And obviously we wanna prep our skin regardless of if we are going with a lightweight makeup or something heavy. Okay, so primer done, it's been the season of skin tints if you don't already know there's been so many skin tints coming out and in the season of keeping it light and fresh on the face i am going to be using super lightweight products today so i'm going to go with the fenty eavesdrop skin tint but i'm also going to pair it with my ordinary serum foundation so i used the shade 21 for fenty skin tint but i felt that it was a little bit too dark for me in terms of the shade match that i like to go for not too dark but darker than what i like to go for basically because obviously it does match my face really well so I'm going to add in a little drop of the Ordinary Serum Foundation in the shade 3.1Y. So obviously it's got a yellow undertone, but this on its own is a little bit too light. But I really like both of these products. They are super fresh and super light on the skin. So we're going to pair these two together. I've already gone ahead and colour corrected around my mouth because I do have hyperpigmentation there. Just using my fingers to apply some of the product on my skin. And I'm going to use a damp beauty sponge to blend that in and just look how effortlessly that is like you don't need a lot at all and i just love love how lightweight this is it really is just a case of evening my skin tone and it's super lightweight so it's not too heavy and perfect for this kind of hot weather if you still want to have something on the skin so just continuing to blend that all over my skin and you can just see like it doesn't make a massive difference but it makes enough of a difference so i'm hoping this is coming through on camera because i can't put my glasses on to see what you guys are seeing but do you have my mirror in front of me you can just see how super lightweight this is on my skin and i don't like to bring my foundation down like all the way to my neck i know i do have a little bit of hyperpigmentation on my neck as well some of us have it i think it's normal so for me it's not that big of a deal that I want to hide it so I'm going to leave it as it is so I've done like my base my foundation I'm going to move on to concealer now and I like to use hydrating concealers because I've noticed that my under eyes tend to be a little bit more on the dry side when I go in with like a, a non-hydrated concealer and obviously I set it with powder but I'm going to first start off with a thicker concealer which is the elf hydrating camo concealer this is in the shade deep chestnut so it's got that nice yellow undertone and i like to use deep chestnut first just to cover some of those tired eye lines that i like to call but it is quite a thick concealer so i really don't need to do too much with this because i am going to go in with another concealer on top to help with like brightening but to begin with i like to use this elf concealer and i also put it around my mouth again because of that hyperpigmentation just to help brighten that area a little bit and this is super easy like you can see how easy and effortless this application is that anyone can do it so if you are one that doesn't like to go too heavy on the skin especially this time of year you're gonna love this and with the under eyes again i like to focus in this particular area here because of those tired eye lines obviously want to look awake and brightened as well without doing too much of course next i'm gonna use the fenty beauty bright fix in the shade 
almond butter this is number 12 I've been using this pretty much every day and yeah definitely does make a difference for this sort of super lightweight fresh makeup look and because it is not only just lightweight but it adds that brightness that I like as well it's just a win-win for me so I'm just going to apply that much and I'm going to leave it to sit under my eyes for a few minutes so whilst I'm waiting for this concealer to dry down a little bit it really doesn't dry down that much because it is super lightweight fresh on the skin I'm going to go in with my revolution super dewy liquid blush this is in the shade blush me up and I've really really been enjoying this shade especially this time of year I just find the colour just works perfect for me in terms of what I like with my blushes at the moment. Obviously I do have like some other blushes that I really like as well but this colour is doing it for me so I love it. And same again using my beauty sponge I'm going to blend this out. I use the beauty sponge because it does actually help to blend out seamlessly and it will obviously pick up any excess product as well. I just love the finish it gives me with the beauty sponge. I'm gonna have to use like a second mirror. I actually need to buy my contact lens solution so I can start wearing my contact lenses again. You can just see already what a difference that has made. Now it might look like a lot or it might not, it depends on your preference. When I go with my setting powder it will turn down just ever so slightly. Now going with the other side I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the concealer now and again keeping it focus like around those tired eyes area i don't know what they call it but <laughs> yeah i'm just gonna keep it focused in that area gonna instantly brighten my under eyes and make me look more awake which is why i really like this because it's such a lightweight product and you really don't even have to put too much and it does the job for you it makes it so much easier and to set those areas i'm going to use my laura mercier translucent powder and i'm going to use the shade honey which is the shade that i've been using for the last couple of days i literally just pick up a little bit i dab off the excess on the back of my hand like most of the excess pretty much nearly all of it and i start off with setting at the bottom first and then i go underneath and the way I'm applying this powder or shall I say the amount is next to nothing compared to what I usually put and I've just seen a massive difference in my under eye area since I've been doing this especially for like these lightweight days. I also like to go in with a powder bronzer so I'm going to use the Juvia's Place bronzer. This is in the shade dark and I'm going to use the top shade. I have done a review on this already. I haven't been using this every day. I've been using it some days but I've also been using my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer quite a lot as well. Oh jeez this really giving me that bronze look blimey <laughs> i forgot how warm and pigmented this bronzer was mascara for our eyes which helps us to look even more awake because i want a little bit more of a sheen in this area i'm gonna go in with my becca maui nights bronzer it's actually a bronzer but i use it as a blusher and it is like um not shimmery but it does have like a little bit of a glow to it so i'm gonna use a little bit of this on top of this like liquid blush that we've just put don't need that much a tiny bit goes a long way this is my way of glowing without applying highlighter basically so i'm gonna line my lips using the fenty beauty matchstick in the shade espresso by the way i have applied lip balm as well so that's why you might see a little bit of shine on my lips and then i go in with my morphe lipstick this is in the shade confess it is a matte lipstick which is why I applied the lip balm because I don't want like a super matte lip. The lip balm naturally will give it a bit of shine. And this is it. This is all I do. This is all I've been doing. This is something that any and everyone can do because it's super easy as you saw the steps. Some of them are obviously on the cheap side so you can find alternatives if you don't have these exact products. But you don't need these exact products to actually do this. As you can see it's super easy to achieve. Super lightweight. I haven't even set my face because I don't need to. I still got a bit of a glow and as my natural oils come through throughout the day my skin will appear a little bit more luminous and glowy so this has been my everyday look at the moment as it's been quite hot outside still want to look fresh and awake but obviously super lightweight on the skin hope you guys enjoyed this video of course do give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you are not already i will leave everything in the description bar down below and of course i hope to see you all in my next one bye